What's up, Tito from Full Circle here. Just uh, about to go over a couple of my favorite items in my collection right now. What's good, y'all? It's Pi from Full Circle. And uh, today we're showing off a few of my uh, favorite Atlanta pieces I have in my closet. What's up, guys? It's Avery from Full Circle. I brought a little bit of my closet the other day to show you guys some stuff that I've been uh, gathering for the past few months. What's up, guys? Nick from Full Circle here. I'm just going to be showing you some of my uh, vintage collection. Just a slight preview of what I have. Some uh, very exclusive pieces. First off, I have this Miles Davis art tee. So this one's made by Michael Rios and Tony Machado. They uh, collabed on this piece, and uh, he used to wear this one while he made other shirts. So you got some character of like the paint all over it while he's making other shirts, hand painting and screen printing himself. So the character on the shirt's really crazy. It's on the 90s Fruit of Loom, single stitch. Great banger, one of my favorite pieces right here. The second one we got is this uh, Shop of Ranks on the gem tag. Crazy fade on this one, bleaching, wild distressing. This shirt used to be black, love how it looks now. Great reggae artist, just the style of the shirt's really crazy, love this one. You know, growing up in Northside in Gwinnett, you know, I'm a huge Atlanta sports fan, so. You know, my dad was a collector of all the vintage sports stuff from the Falcons, the Thrashers, the Braves, the Hawks, all that stuff. This is just like a part of me, you know. First things first, I got the Dirty Birds, Mike Vick, past the Magic Tee, which is crazy. Got a little Mike Vick bobblehead, you know what I'm saying? Legend. Number seven. Next up, we got the Eon on the Nutmeg. It's a good banger. Got his uh, height, weight, and the position. He was a cornerback. Did punt return, kick return, did literally anything. Could do anything with the rock. Sheesh. This is one of my favorites. Another Dion. Signed by Dion. It says the Dion Sanders number 24, but he's wearing 21. So that's uh, you know when he was on he played for the Braves and the Falcons at the same time, if you didn't know that. With the uh, authentication right there, good bagger. Next up, we got another reggae artist. This is uh, Shaggy, Mr. Lover, Boom Bostic. This one I've had for a while. This is uh, an artist I remember growing up listening to. Super dope shirt. Rarely, rarely see Shaggy rap tees, so. Next up, this is one of my craziest pieces I own. This is a shadow boxing Wu-Tang rap tee. Super rare. This one I actually found in a flea market not too long ago. Paid very cheap for it. Super hyped on that one. This is one of my best finds ever. The collar on this one's crazy. Beautiful piece. Next up, good Bravo's dead tee. Steal your base instead of steal your face. Good banger right here. Took me years to get this one. Got hella offers. I'll never get rid of this. This one right here. Brave Thunder. Got offered 500 bucks from this. Got this like four years ago for 40 bucks on Depop. On Salem. Good Salem right there. I'll never get rid of this one. Crazy story on this one. I had one of these hanging up in the old shop, the first shop, when it burned down, so I lost it. And then uh, one of these came through, I think, last shop. I had to grab it. This is my first concert I ever went to Backstreet Boys. The craziest thing is they're all wearing 1996 Olympics, so. Good BSB rap tee, you feel me? Last but not least, good dead. With the peach, you know, Georgia peaches. It was uh, 94, that was when I was born. Good banger. Never get rid of this one either. It stays with me. Next up is another Wu-Tang. This is the Wu Renegades rap tee. You got all the members sitting on the world with the back hit. Ghostface Killer, RZA, Master Killer, Jizza, Inspector Deck, You God, Chef Raekwon, Old Dirty Bastard, Method Man. You got Wu World on the front. All the members sitting on the earth. 
Very dope, clean piece. So this one's gonna be a Tupac wrap tee. Uh, you always see the back hit, but you never see this front. It's uh, printed in the USA. This one's on the uh, Bay Club tag. Very dope shirt. Well, let's get into it. So my favorite shoe, 1994 Chicago. Love this shoe to death. In my collection, I have a couple sizes. Right here is a size nine. Super clean. OG 1994 retro card. It's another pair, seven and a half. Super clean. 1994 release. Chicago's. These come with the OG box and the OG card. Crazy timeless piece. The box is insane. The details on it go crazy. I'm just gonna go over some of these shoes that I brought out today. Again, I'm really into these neutral all white shoes just because you don't have to worry about matching. You can just kind of like throw on the shoe and let your outfit make the statement. We'll start off with the uh, strapless uh, Air Force One High. Honestly, was blessed by these for a present. Uh, got these for really retail. It's probably the only shoe on this whole stack that I got for retail. Everything else I paid resale. Uh, I just love this shoe. It's such a clean shoe with the vintage look, the strapless high. You can literally wear them with anything. It's a great shoe. Next are my CPFM Air Forces. Had these for a year or so. Probably the the second longest shoe I've owned. I've literally worn these to death almost. And the stars are gone at this point. I got them brand new so you can just tell the wear that I've gone on to these. Um, all my shoes I try to keep in really good condition just because I don't want to fucking like have to get them again. If I have the shoe I want to just have it and keep it in good condition to increase the life of it so I don't have to get shoes continuously. Next are my uh, off-white blazers. Again probably my honestly favorite shoe out of this whole lot. Definitely worn this shoe the most and had this shoe the longest. Um, again, keeping it clean is priority A for me because I've worn these so much, but you can't really tell because I really do try to keep good care of them, um, as well as all of my shoes. Next would be the uh, foam posit CDGs. I just picked these up like two days ago from a guy um, in the shop. Love this shoe, been trying to get this shoe for a minute. Um, great shoe right here as well. This crate right here, SpongeBob BBC storage container. Use it for all types of storage. This right here is a size eight. This is my personal nine and a half. It's not laced up too well just because I just recently wore them. And also the bread that released in 1994. Super clean condition. This is a four and a half. This is a great school pair. Retro Jordan 1 box. This is my uh, current 1994 Jordan 1 collection. A total of five pairs. My favorite shoe for sure. These as well, the CDG 97. Great shoe. Again, you just can wear these with anything, man. It's just all these shoes are just great neutral shoes. Love them to death. Next, we have my Moab CDG Moabs to complete this three pack of CDGs. Even though I'm still missing a couple CDG Nike shoes. Love this shoe. Only issue is this one does obviously get a little bit more wear to it a little bit more quickly, so I just wear these, beat them up. Next shoe we have is the Ama One. Uh, as you can see, I decided to go like uh, invert laces, so I have the cream and then the maroon and this. I feel like that just kind of looks best for me and I like how that looks the most. I'm really interested to see how these wear, uh, this paint cracking and stuff. I feel like as time goes on, it's gonna have a really nice worn look to it, so I'm excited to see how these wear. Next shoe we have is the New Balance Protection Packs in all white. Great shoe. Obviously, again, this shoe gets very dirty very fast, so I'm not really worried at all about getting this one dirty. All I'm going to do once I get them dirty is just dip dye them a different color, maybe like a, a forest color or some earth tone just to get them kind of to match the wear. That's probably one of the most worn non-shoes that I have, non-sneakers. is absolutely these Vision Cristos. Uh, I got these brand new and they were pretty much as white as this is now and you can tell as time goes on just the discoloration of you know wear and this is what gets you but love this shoe we'll beat this shoe up and wear it to the ground um literally one of my favorite crystals and I, so yeah guys these are all like my main you know main main shoes i wear all of these all the time these are the ones that i just like find myself wearing every day almost like just rotate through all of these i don't think that i'll really like be shifting my my style anytime soon this is kind of i feel like where i'm at i've learned kind of what i like and what i'm interested in this is kind of really the curation of stuff that's my favorite up next we're gonna get into a just a 
bag I had with the golden buckle, product detail on there. All right, so up next is a Chanel piece. It's this uh, denim coin pouch with the golden rope chain, golden clasp, Chanel interior. Chanel's definitely one of my favorite luxury brands. I have some uh, clothing on, it's not like a lot, but just some stuff I picked up recently. I got this dead jersey from the shop like a couple weeks ago, and I fucking love it. I really have never seen another dead jersey like this. Uh, it's got a good old uh, Toronto, Canada tag right there. It's got a fire back. Good size, just a great all around jersey. Like, I've never really seen something like this, so I had to pick this one up. And then a good, another just Central pair of denim. Literally, Capital never misses with this kind of stuff. The Century denim is absolutely one of my favorite pairs of denim. It's honestly, like the more that you wear it, the better they look and the more worn in and discolored they get. So, like every pair as you wear them, they just get a different kind of vibe to them. So, I love this pair of jeans. I wear them all the time. Just crazy details on them. These Capital Country prepared patch denim. Size 36 to 38 in the waist. One of my favorite pairs. The repairs on these go into crazy detail. This crazy patch in the back. Then I got this pair of Gino Watano but Levi's. These have the kneecaps, patch of corduroy. Other material right here. With the leather in the pocket. Great work from Levi's and Junior. Uh, they have a bunch of great pair of pants out, jackets and stuff too. They uh, work pretty consistently, honestly. A bunch of great pieces. Number nine corduroids. A color you don't see too often. With the crying heart right there. Leather patch. The corduroy on these is just popping. Number nine music notes on the waist. We appreciate it, everybody for the support. Keep uh, tapping into the YouTube. We're trying to keep it fun, trying to keep it entertaining. That's pretty much it, man. We appreciate y'all. Hey, man, come shop with us. We got all the exclusive pieces here. We got the vintage Jordan 1s, good denim, good pants, good accessories. The bags for your girl that gets your shorty right. Gotta keep your shorty in the Chanel, Shanene, good Celine, good Prada. Yes, sir. Got exclusive drip. That just sounds the real. Style phone call. Come and take a sip. Count up with my hoe. Cop another load.